Good morning, I'm Dr. Duke Majin. It is March 1st, 2023. I'm here with a patient who traveled to Florida from Iowa. He has been suffering with back pain for years. He started to have leg symptoms in his left leg. That lasted for a few years. Then it switched to the right leg, right? Correct, yep. And you said, enough is enough. I need to get this fixed. And yesterday you had the Duke Laser Disc Repair, which is the endoscopic surgery with the laser repairing the damaged discs in your back and you're here today, uh, less than 24 hours after surgery, how do you feel? It's almost unbelievable. And I'm typically kind of a skeptical person. So it's like, okay, something doesn't seem quite right because I, I have no pain. I took no pain medicine. You know, went from my left, which I had for multiple years, and then uh, it went to my right and went down, made the outside of my calf numb. I can't wiggle my toes and my foot wanted to roll. And we had the surgery and I woke up and felt great. And the, you know, I got up in uh, recovery and walked around and I could already tell my foot wasn't wanting to flop and roll. Now I still have a, you know, and, and even on the left, I had a little, I had some sensation here that's, you know, Coming that back. was kind of numbing and it's starting to come back. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm skeptical, it's like, okay, how much is this as <laughs> placebo? You know, cause I was telling Dr. Duke that I don't get it. Cause you know, he basically, he cut my back, he pounded a rod in there went through, did four different levels, and I have no pain. It's just incredible. Yeah, and I, it is incredible. It, That's why we're trying to share this, yeah. these stories with the rest of the world so people can stop living with the problem or stop having bad spine surgery elsewhere. Yep, and I went back to the hotel and walked around the outside of the building probably four or five times, and typically I would start feeling some, some back tension then, nothing. Yeah, it's so gone. It's gone. It will be gone for the rest of your life, as long as you don't re-injure it, let it heal. Yeah, he woke up yesterday and I came to visit him in the recovery area and the first thing he said is, this is amazing, but it must be the medicine, right? And I said, no, we haven't given you any medicine that would do that. The propofol we give, which is the sedative for the surgery, it's not a painkiller. It only puts you to sleep. So you'll still feel pain even with the propofol. Basically, the results are legitimate and genuine. And that's what our patients experience with this procedure. Yes, it's amazing. So what, what are the back pain and leg symptoms? How did it restrict your, your quality of life? Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, you know, again, over the years, you know, it, it would, it would kind of hurt and I'd have to lay down and not do much. And then here towards the end, I couldn't walk very well. I mean, so, and luckily my job is, a, you know, an IT job, so there's not a lot of walking. So I was still able to do my job fine because if I would sit, it would, it would be okay, not a lot of pain, but I couldn't, I couldn't walk and the foot would flop when I'm trying to walk. It's just incredible. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. And, and so it really had an impact on your, your, on your work, but also your uh, hobbies, I'm sure. It restricted your quality of life with your spouse who is here and loyal wife who's here supporting you. I'm sure she suffered with you. I could see it on her face. Yeah. Right? Yep. It's hard on people when you have a medical problem that you can't find an answer to. Now, were you offered other surgeries for your oh, back? Oh yeah, I guess, uh, you know, I, I did some research. I actually went to, and I probably can't name them here, but I went to three different spine surgeons before I talked to you. And two of them recommended a three or four level fusion. And one of them recommended that, I don't think we can do anything for you, so I wouldn't do anything. And that's a problem, right? Oh yeah. Because that's not accurate. I'm convinced that if I wouldn't have done something, I wouldn't be able to walk very well at all, you know, in a, in a pretty short order of time. Yeah, you would be wheelchair bound. There's no doubt about it. So isn't it surprising that here that there are doctors who cannot figure out what's wrong? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Well, I've had many network administrators and IT people working for me over the years and I've seen many of them that can't figure out what's wrong. <laughs> and many of them that do bad patch jobs, right? Same thing with back surgery. You're gonna have doctors who don't know what to do at all and throw their hands up and say, live with it or go to pain management. You're gonna have those doctors who think they can fix it and will give you the type of treatments that really are not good treatments. They don't last or they don't work properly. And then you have once in a while you find someone who really understands what they're doing and can give you the very best solution in the world. And I know I would pay anything for that myself. I would just ask, how do you feel today? And is there anything you want to tell the rest of the world out there? I, I feel great today. And I, I, you know, one of the things I've always said is as you go through your working career, you know, I've, I've worked with a lot of people that said, when I retire, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. 
and something happens and they don't get to do the things they dreamed about doing, I feel like I'm going to be able to do the things that I want to do. Yes, you are. So I would say anybody that's having back problems, you know, come see Dr. Duke. Well, thank for you very sure. much. I appreciate that. It's great helping you and your family. Take thank care. You. And don't do too much too I soon. I won't. <laughs> All right. <laughs>